the safe is a Swanson safe company safe. Right. That feels like it's not random. Yeah, it's definitely not random. I'm yeah. sure that that was uh, a conversation that Mike had with um, uh, the art department. But um, uh, it's, it's also, a reference to Parks and Recreation. Yes, to it's Ron a reference Swanson. to Ron Swanson. But I also think it's funny because there have been, I think, a lot of conspiracy theories online that they now exist in the same universe, and that mm-hmm. in fact the the safe was bought directly from Ron Swanson's Swanson Safe Company. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, it's awesome, I think, that the fans, like, are so interested and curious about our show. But sometimes you just want to be like, it's just a little joke. Right, <laughs> like, right. don't read too, too much into it. Um, I Because I, I don't think, I mean, this is just, I'm speaking for myself. I'm not speaking for Mike or any of the rest of the writers. But I don't think they take place in, like, the exact same universe. Um, now, you know that the John Ralphio's uh, fragrance or something was also on a magazine. Well, there you go. I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm I not saying you're wrong. I'm just show. saying you're, if if the goal is not to poke the bear about conspiracy theories, like there's some poking of the bear going. Oh, on. definitely. Yeah, yeah. I I think that it's funny though because sometimes. I mean, it, it has gotten to the point where, and this is actually like, I think a great problem to have because it definitely keeps us on our toes as writers. But there are times when we, I think, um, an episode airs and people really latch onto something mm-hmm. and you're like, wow, we did not think that was going to be a big deal at all. Right. And then, but people are so invested in the show and are such fans of the show that they really are mentally cataloging everything and that they're clocking things that even I as a writer am not, you know, Some things seem pretty direct. I noticed that the name of the restaurant in this episode is like the Canteen of Heaven. Like yeah. That does seem like a pretty direct. Uh, so you wouldn't argue that there are Easter eggs that we're missing? Um, I would say that there, I mean, there are certainly Easter eggs uh, in every episode. And I think that is deliberate. So maybe I'm trying to have my cake and eat it too. 